Hello, welcome to Biograde TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Major ethnic groups in Kenya and their peculiarities. The East African nation of Kenya, like most other African nations, boasts of several ethnic groups. While some of these ethnic groups have certain cultural practices in common, each also has some unique features that distinguish them. The Kikuyu The Kikuyu ethnic group is Kenya's most popular and the largest, making up about 22% of the country's population. The population of this group in Kenya is about 8 million as of 2019. They are also known as Gikuyu or Agikuyu. Today, majority of the Kikuyus are found in Nairobi and Kenya's central province. The majority of them are well-educated thanks to their history of economic success. Traditionally, a Kikuyu man could marry more than one wife provided he can take care of them. Paying a dowry, known as bride price, is still an important aspect of their culture. Although some aspects of the Kikuyu culture has begun to fade, the Kikuyu language is still widely spoken, especially in the urban areas where the majority speak English and Swahili. Indeed, the Kikuyu language has become Kenya's third language of choice. Today, most Kikuyus are adherents of Christianity. However, Kikuyus traditionally worshipped a single god, Ngai, who was known as the provider and resided at the top of the mountain. Kikuyus believe it was their traditional god who began their tribe by putting on earth a man and woman named Kikuyu and Mumbi. The couple birthed nine daughters who later married and brought the Kikuyu tribe to life. Typical Kikuyu food, especially in rural homes, include githeri made from maize and beans, mukimo made from mashed green peas and potatoes, irio made from mashed dry beans, corn and potatoes, roast goat, beef, chicken, and cooked green vegetables such as collards, spinach, and carrots. In addition to maintaining their economic stability, the Kikuyu tribe dominates the leadership and political space in Kenya. Out of the four presidents Kenya has had, three are Kikuyus including Kenya's first president, Jomo Kenyatta, Kenya's third president, Emilio Mwai Kibaki, and the current president, Uhuru Kenyatta, who is the son of Jomo Kenyatta. Africa's first female Nobel Peace Prize winner, the late Professor Wangari Maathai, was also Kikuyu. The Luya Ethnic Group Luyas are Kenya's second largest ethnic group and account for 14% of Kenya's population. Luyas practiced polygamy and a man who had several wives had a high standing in the society as only a very wealthy man could afford to pay the bride price for several wives. The bride price was usually paid in the form of cattle, sheep or goats. Today, polygamy is not as popular as it used to be, but bride price payment is still revered in some Luya communities. Money has taken the place of cattle, sheep or goats as the bride price. However, it is seen as a taboo to marry someone from one's own clan. Male circumcision is an important ritual in most Luya sub-tribes, making the initiation from boyhood to manhood. The modern and educated Luyas circumcise their sons in hospitals upon birth. However, traditional circumcision ceremonies still take place every August and December in the rural communities. Luya people are sport-loving people, especially when it comes to rugby and soccer. Many Luyas are ardent fans of the AFC Leopard Soccer Club, which they consider to be their own. Most of the players in Kenya's national soccer team are Luyas. Another sport popular among Luyas is traditional bullfighting. Annually, a bullfighting competition is staged and it attracts many spectators among Kenyans. Today, many Luyas are Christians. However, it is not uncommon to find some mixing Christianity with aspects of African traditional religion. 
A good example is the Diniya Musambwa, a religion whose adherents are mostly Luyas. Followers of this religion use portions of the Bible for their doctrine while practicing traditional witchcraft at the same time. Ugali, known as Obusuma in the Luya language, is the traditional food of the Luyas. It is made from either maize flour, cassava, or millet flour. Usually, it is served with chicken. Among Luyas, a meal is never complete without some Ugali. The Luo Ethnic Group The Luo tribe is the third largest in Kenya and makes up to roughly 13% of the entire population. According to history, the Luo arrived Kenya around 500 years ago from Sudan and established settlements in the land surrounding Lake Victoria, Africa's biggest freshwater lake. Luo people are one of the few Kenyan tribes that do not circumcise their males as an initiation to manhood. Instead, in Luo traditions, initiation into manhood involves the removal of six teeth from the lower jaw. Another interesting Luo custom is wife inheritance whereby, upon the death of a man, one of his brothers or close relatives inherits his widow and is obligated to meet all of her marital requirements. While most Luos are now Christians, many still hold to their traditional cultural customs, especially in the rural areas. However, some of the Luo cultural practices are slowly fading away, such as wife inheritance. In recent times also, efforts have been made to promote male circumcision to help curb the spread of HIV and AIDS. One noticeable attribute among the elite and urban Luo people is their flamboyant character and sense of style, as well as their polished and eloquent command of the English language. The late James Orengo Obama Sr., father of former U.S. President Barack Obama, was from the Luo tribe. The Misai Ethnic Group Misai is one of the many tribes of Kenya. Until recently, the Misai were arguably the dominating tribe in Kenya, and to date, they have held on to a big part of their traditions and lifestyle, setting them apart from the other Kenyan tribes. Most wear a piece of clothing called shuka in the Mara language, which is a combination of red, blue, and green checked and striped clothes. A big number also have bald heads and sometimes a rungu, that is a club, in their hands for the men. The Misai have some peculiar customs that may seem very strange to others. For instance, they drink the raw blood of the cows and goats that they slaughter, which is their primary source of food. The act is considered honorable among the tribe. This custom used to take place on special occasions like when a woman gave birth or when a man is circumcised. Nowadays, however, the blood can be taken every time there is a slaughter. Their livestock and children are extremely important. The Misai, being semi-nomadic and pastoral, hold livestock very dearly. Having a large number of livestock is a sure sign of wealth for any Misai man and accords him status, respect and honor among the community. In fact, livestock was a legal tender among the Misai. The Misai also see children as very important. A young Misai woman tends to give birth to as many children as she can as it is also a sign of wealth for the husband. Among the Misai, so dear are children that if you have a large number of livestock but no children, you are considered a poor man. Although, modern Misai people have begun to practice family planning. Some other ethnic groups in Kenya include the Kamba, Kuria, and Turkana. Which have we missed out of these ethnic groups? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share, and subscribe to our channel.